three, two, one. Good morning, guys. My name is Dylan, and today we have another vlog. But today is not, not really a vlog, I guess. Well, it, it is a vlog, but um, it's also going to be a bit of a tech review because today I'm going to the Auckland Holographic Expo, which is only limited to secondary school students and I have a VIP pass which means I can do what they have which is the standard ticket tour, the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive but because I got the VIP ticket which was a hundred dollars I also get to use the Microsoft HoloLens which I don't think hasn't come out, come out yet um, it's only in its developer stages right now but uh, yeah I'm still at home <laughs> yeah uh, I'm just you know, breakfast, things, getting stuff ready. Uh, I'm going a bit early because then I can do a bit of photography, get a photo shoot done, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, so uh, let's get into whatever I do next, and I'll see you there. Okay, I am finally out of the house. It is like, what, nine o'clock right now? It's like no people in the, in the bloody supermarket, so. Yeah, the thing is that now I have to get into a bus stop, go and take a bus, go and find a Auckland University of Technology, and then be like, oh, Jeff, it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, hopefully, I'm gonna enjoy all the stuff. I've done quite a bit of research on um, all the stuff that they're bringing to the, um, to the actual expo. And yeah, all, all the technology right now is, is like really good. So hopefully everything is going to be enjoyable. So let's get into it. Yeah. Okay, I've been in the city for a while, and um, I've just done my pre-order for Pokemon Moon. Everyone's going for Sun, but I'm going to go for Moon because Moon. Yeah. So. That's done. Uh, I'm gonna quickly rush down to No Leaming. Get something. See if I can get something. And then ET up this way. Yeah. Okay, just recorded a time lapse and uh, the nice night glasses go on. So now I'm gonna move up more towards um, ET so I can get ready at 11 o'clock to go win. And uh, I can actually do a bit of uh, test shooting with my new Sigma 70 to 300 lens. Um, I've done a lot of test shooting, just saying, but this is more professional test shooting, I guess. I don't know how you would explain it, but yeah. Um, I did go, I didn't go into no leaming, instead I went into Photo Warehouse, and I picked up another quick release for my camera, because now I've got a quick release on both my DSLR and this camera. So. Literally, I can just switch out whenever I need to, essentially. Shooting a photo on the Sigma, and then, say, I don't know, switch out, time lapse on here. So, yeah, because I mean, D90 is not really that reliable for what, um, for taking time lapses and stuff. Because the video is not that great. Unless you can actually frame it up perfectly, but that's really about it. So, yeah, gonna, gonna get that to work, and, uh, yeah, it goes. We have the lonely host, not Rachel, the guy in the purple shirt, controlling the event through a little iPad. 
he's doing well for a job, bossing people around, and being a potato. And we're back. Yeah, not much of an update, but um, I completely finished it. And uh, hopefully you saw all the stuff there. It's good. Where's the Rachel? There's a Rachel. Yeah. Not much, but uh, yeah, we pretty much finished all the stuff here. And uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, guys, wait, 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 I need to record this moment and uh, no 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 no. no like, just wait 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 wait. Nah 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 nah. Wait. Go five four. Enough, enough, enough. <laughs> that was a hell fight. <laughs> oh. Alright. We are done. So I'm I'm still at uh, AUT right now, but I am waiting for the muzzle to get here. Because she doesn't know where I am at all. She doesn't know. And it's not working out. Yeah. So yeah. Um I'm gonna wait. Need to go home. Need to edit some videos. Need to edit the photos from today. And we'll be good. Yeah. So it is like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock now. And I have been home for quite a while. But yeah, can't really say much right now. Um, I'm going to start editing the video now. And I'm gonna add an extra bit in here, just talking about the um, all the all the stuff that I've pretty much experienced from today. So just just let's just go to that setup over there. Yep, that dab, 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 and dab. It is comprehensive review time. Okay, so let's get started while I'm actually turning on my computer and stuff. So, okay, first off, let's talk about, hmm, let's talk about the whole lens. It's Jonathan in the background being a little cunty piece of shit. Um, now, HTC Vive. HTC Vive, um, loving all the stuff. It's a bit bulky to my liking because of all the lighthouses. Like, I, you could potentially see the lighthouses being put up like in each corner of my room, and they would, I think, I guess they would function fine. I'm not sure. It would, it would have to be on like this side and then that side up there because those two are like the the clearest points in my setup, really. But, um. Overall, for that really good headset, in the sense that, like, the graphics are really good, um, and, like, the the overall, like, synchronization of the headset to the computer, to the, uh, to your controllers, really is, like, pretty, pretty down there. It's, like, nice and tightly packed, where, I don't know if it's tightly packed, but it's, like, really tightly synchronized so that you don't really see much lag when you like look through the screen and then I don't know say it's like a one millisecond delay or something like that it is probably a one millisecond delay but yeah um <laughs> it's good it's good um 
other stuff, other stuff. Oculus Rift. Uh, so Oculus Rift is the, now is the consumer version. So pretty much anyone can buy it. Like I said, it does come with a Xbox One controller. So that would be good in my standards since I've, I've got the Xbox Elite, Xbox One Elite right over there. So um, I would have a, like one more controller that has the better, you know, bumpers and stuff. Yeah, um, that, that's one thing I do find which is nice about the, um, like the 2015 versions because like, how can I explain it? The bumpers on the controller, you can press anywhere and they would respond. Whereas on the 2013 one, which I have, which is the Titanfall controller, if you haven't seen it, um, is, I, I feel like you can only press like the sides of the button. I, I don't know, but that that's just my personal preference. Um, also like, quality is really nice, uh, tracking is really good, and pretty much like everything overall is pretty good. We are getting there with VR, that's for sure. Um, like, there's going to be a whole ton more applications, uh, like, there's going to be a lot more applications where it's not just for gaming, it's more, like, oriented to, like, what, teaching and, um, those sort of, like, work practices and stuff. Like, you can see a lot happening with the HoloLens, whereas, like, you've got architecture, engineering, you've got medical possibly there's there's a lot of fields you can use the the hololens for but for things like the vive and the rift i don't really know how that could actually like work because you're pushed into a like a, a re, like a virtual reality whereas with the hololens you're you're in the same plane as you are, like, now, but you've just got images overlaying that plane, in a sense. So, literally, if you were to put it into, like, into a medical practice or something like that, you have a mannequin on, like, a dissection table, and then you have your... you've got the, the HoloLens on, and you can literally see inside of the mannequin as if it was, like, a body. That could be a possible idea. But, um, there's a, there's a fair bit that you can really do. Uh, we just have, I just have to see where it all goes, where, um, with, like, bloody old potato thing, banana. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go edit this video now, and, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video so far um it's been a like a tiny it's it's been like a tech review as well as a vlog because this has been awesome much awesome um yeah hopefully they do come up with another event because i would really want to do something on pokemon go because me pokemon go again. like so many people like play pokemon go now because it's like one of the most accessible versions of pokemon and i mean yeah, it's going to be good. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, from this channel, and from the Inner Channel, God is my... Yeah. If you want to see more content like this, um, same time, same day, like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you want. I'll see you in the next video later, Lens Flare. Ah, you see where I went there? I'll see you later, Lens Flare.